Well, hey guys, um, I'm extremely excited, extremely excited. I was watching Amir on a live today. I will put the link down below in the comments so you can watch it also. Now, as you know, if you follow my page uh, or my YouTube channel, uh, I'm teaching through Genesis. Now, I will get back to what Amir said in just a bit because it has everything to do with what I taught in Genesis, in Genesis uh, chapter 17. Now, this is when God gave Abraham the covenant of circumcision. And I want to read to you uh, Genesis 17, 25. And it says, And Ishmael his son was thirteen years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. God does not put things into the Bible willy-nilly. They're there for a reason. So, so we have to ask the question, why was it important that, that um, Ishmael was circumcised when he was 13 years old. Well, a year later, Isaac was born, the child of promise. Ishmael was not the child of promise. Isaac was the child of promise. So a year later is when Ishmael would have been 14. Now, if you remember that Bible study on Genesis 17, I asked the question, when is the next time in the Bible we see a set of 14s? And that is in Matthew chapter 1 in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. So let's turn there. Okay, so now we are in uh, Matthew chapter 1 verse 17. And this is what it says. So all the generations from Abraham to David were 14 generations. And from David to the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations. And from the deportation to Babylon to Christ, 14 generations. So now we need to look at this from at the deportation of Babylon, that is when Israel stopped being a sovereign nation. The next 14 generations later, the true son of promise, Jesus Christ, came in his first advent. Why is that important? Well, the Bible tells us in Matthew that uh, it doesn't say it specifically. It compares it to a fig tree. But the generation that sees Israel become a nation will be the final generation. Now, when I wrote this Bible study earlier on in the year, I thought maybe I should see how many prime ministers or presidents... Israel has had. Currently, they're at number 13. Now, Israel became a nation in 1948. So, we see that Israel lost its national sovereignty in the, in, um, the deportation of Babylon. Fourteen generations later, Jesus Christ came. Now, Israel becomes a nation May 14th, 1948. And as of today, there, are, there have been 13 presidents, prime ministers in Israel. And so in my Bible study, I thought, when is the next Israeli election? And it was supposed to be November 11th, 2024. However, from Amir's video today that's linked below, Benjamin Netanyahu has resigned. And I think it's in another week, maybe it's two weeks, so we'll have to relook at the video. 
they will be having a federal election, which brings that to the 14th president prime minister. Now, not only that, if you look at my video just previous to this, um, we looked at the rate of change uh, and looking at that from Daniel, the last chapter of Daniel and how knowledge is going to increase in the last days. And uh, just over a hundred years ago, the rate of change was once every five years, uh, sorry, once every 500 years. Then in my grandparents' generation, the rate of change was once every 100 years. In my parents' generation, it's once every 50 years. 20 years ago, it was once every 20 years. And right now, it's once every 12 hours. The rate of change is coming. Then we see in Tim, in one, uh, I think it's First Timothy, uh, it, it says, In the last days, there will be doctrines of demons taught that you should not be eating meat. And we're seeing all of these cattle die and chickens die and lambs die. And they're trying to bring in this, this uh, synthetic meat. And we see we're on the brink of a one world currency. And all of this is coming together. And so the reason why I'm so excited is if the 14 presidents, prime ministers have anything I don't know if they do, but if they have anything to do with this genealogy of Jesus, the 14-year-old uh, Ishmael, the son of promise, the 14 generations, the son of promise, we are on the cusp of the rapture. That's some food for thought. Have a great day.